And the bases are loaded for Marissa Prince. Grand Slam last weekend against St. Martin's. Takes a strike here. And her last time she was on deck when Tracy hit that three-run home run, we were all figuring maybe she'd get a shot with the bases loaded then. Instead, she hit with the bases empty. But now, here you go. Bases full, no outs. The pitch off the outside part of the plate. Prince earned her first ever GNAC Player of the Week award last week. Had a grand slam and a home run, a game-winning home run, I should say, against the Saints, and now she's teed up here. One and one, swing and a miss. Ison got her to chase the high inside fastball there. So now she's behind in the count, one ball and two strikes. Gammon, the runner on third, Rovins at second, Tracy at first, plenty of speed on for the Jackets. A big spot here for Marissa Prince in the pitch. Just a little bit high. Count runs even. Still no one out here in the sixth. Tying run is now in the on-deck circle for the Jackets. They trail it 13 to eight. Base is loaded. Marissa Prince at the plate. The pitch, swinging a deep drive into right center field, back towards the wall, and it is out of here! Grand slam! Marissa Prince does it again! Second straight series with a grand slam. The reigning GNAC player of the week rounds third, and the Jackets are back in it. They trail by one. What a swing of the bat by Marissa Prince. Second straight. Here from Amanda Rourke. The payoff on its way tomorrow. Swinging a deep drive into center field. Rovens is back onto the track and reaching up. Bella Rovens takes away a grand slam. A run is going to score, but my goodness, what a play by Bella Rovens reaching over the fence and bringing one back. Vikings score a run, but boy, thanks to their second team all GNAC center fielder, it could have been a lot more. Instead, it's two down. Payoff pitch on the outside corner. Strike three called. With the strikeout, one down. And you see her jumping up and down there. I think it was more to get the 
mud out of her spikes and to celebrate that strikeout, but the Jackets will take it. And we're wind up in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck her out. So Rourke gets out of the first inning. The Vikings strike first and score a run. But a nice job there by the senior Amanda Rourke to limit the damage. Count now. One ball and two strikes. And Rourke on the verge of getting out of this second inning. Just surrendered two runs, but trying to leave it at that. The pitch to Levin is chopped. Back to the circle. Rourke's got it. Throw to first in time. And Rourke gets out of it. Need to get back in the dugout and get back in the batter's box. Now Rourke ready. And the one, two. Swing and a miss. Struck her out. Rourke with the strikeout. Amanda Rourke gets out of the now third inning with a big strikeout. And she strands a couple of runners the on the bases. So the... Jackets get a shutdown inning from their senior right-hander. They'll be back at the plate. It's the top of the lineup coming up in the bottom of the third. Field throwers practice out on Bjorgen Field. And that's what Levin hit. And this time, going around is Barrio. Rourke struck her out, and there's one away. Two balls, two strikes. A pitch from Rourke is swung on and missed. Rourke struck her out. So there's out number two of the inning. Rourke. Of what has become a longer inning than they would have liked. But that said, still a chance to limit the damage. The pitch is swung on and missed, and he, she struck her out. So Rourke gets out of it. Play of the day by Bella Robins in center field. Keeps it close. But we will head to the bottom of the fourth. It is Western Washington 8, MSUB 5. Move one minute past the 6 o'clock hour here in Billings. And strike three called. Amanda Rourke got her looking. Up next, so Western from behind in the count, 3-0 and oh, to fielder, uh, called Alexi third strike. Rodgers. Amanda Rourke has her fourth consecutive out and one away for the Vikings here in the sixth. Cameron Castanelli can get a couple of runs back with one swing of the bat. Here's the first pitch. It is low and away. There goes Tracy. The throw down to second base is not in time. Stolen base, Heather Tracy. Yeah. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Got her to chase a high pitch there. Now Tracy slides into third. Tracy with another stolen base. She and third base. she caught the Vikings off guard there. Mark delivers. Swinging a high fly ball into right field. Over there is Tracy. She's under it. Puts it away. And the Yellow Jackets get out of the Tracy inning. So the Vikings the able to plate one. But the Jackets the hang tough. The and the they will head to the bottom of the fourth. Here we go. Reset once again. Gammon on third. Payoff pitch to Tracy. Swinging a drive into right field. Way back there. Going back and gone. Heather Tracy. Two-run home run to right field. Drives in Gammon. And after more than 10 pitches, hits it out to straightaway right center. We've got a ball game. Jackets are back in it. They now trail 3-2. to two. Now we're ready. And Lavasan. Behind in the count, 2-1. Her pitch to Tracy. Swinging a deep drive to left center field. That ball back, and it is way out of here. Three-run home run, Heather Tracy, her second of the game, and we are tied. 8-8, eight to eight. Heather Tracy goes the other way. A three-run shot. Her teammates greeting her at the plate. She stomps on it, and boy, have a day, Heather Tracy. And we are tied again. Wipe away some of the moisture on her hand. Now the one pitch up the middle, off a syllable, now to short, and that's going to be a base hit for now Robins. With the infield single. So she lined that ball right back up at syllable. She jackets. knocked it down. And playing right field, but one. Viking shortstop Heather Ashley Scott Tracy. didn't have time to barehand it. Robins will dig back in there. One oh, swinging a little pop into left field. That's going to get down. A base hit for Rovins. We'll see how the kick goes. And getting to it quickly is the Viking left fielder Sarah Morrow. So she limits Rovins to a single. Number one in the but the right Jackets fielder. now have a one out base runner as Rovins Heather able to Tracy. poke that one down the line. And she's on for Heather Tracy. Still a long ways to go before you talk about getting back in this one, but the full count pitch is grounded up the middle, off the glove of Scott, the shortstop, and Rovins with a leadoff single here. Start the bottom of the fifth inning. Of the 
third hit for Bella Rovins in this one. So she's gotten out of a bit of a funk she was in at the plate. Sort of struggling a little bit and trying to find herself. But three hits here, and that's been one of the few bright spots for the Jackets. But Rovins starting to get it going, and we know how good she can be. A second-team all-GNAC pick a season ago as a sophomore. We see a delay after... Richards does something to pitch, swinging it. Ground ball to short. Sungari eats it up, throws over to first base, and the Jackets get out of the inning. Pro has good speed. Started as an outfielder in game one. First pitch to her is grounded towards short. sungari has got it, sits down, throws over to first base, and she's got her. So two more runs for the Vikings here in the second, Probably and we've got a ball game for a five-run first inning. Nonetheless, we play here, top of the third, 6-5, Western Washington. Another chance for Stringari. She gobbles it up, throws over to Devlin at first, and a nice play there by Caitlin. So after an error by Stringari in the first inning, she's handled three ground balls flawlessly, and there's one away for the Jackets here in the third. The Vikings. Chopper and more work for Stringari. Reaches down, gloves it, throw over to first in time. Caitlin Stringari showing off the leather there. Back-to-back -back plays. That one took her to her left, and she stayed down on it. Made a good throw over to Devlin. And if you're Rourke, you're pitching for ground balls, and you're pitching for those plays right there. Nice Bang job by Stringari. And there's two away. Okay, three hits in the first ball game. She looked to keep that up. But first, the payoff pitch to Corey Gammon. Swing and a line drive in the left center. That ball is going to go all the way to the wall. Corey Gammon racing around first. She's going to have at least a double. She is going to hold up there. Corey so Corey Gammon, Gammon rips lead a leadoff double, off double in the left Jackets. center. And the Jackets are in Corey business Gammon. here in the first. And she's set up here with nobody out in the fourth. A big pop fly. Sky to left. Gammon should be able to put it away. And she does. So there's a break for the Jackets. As Rourke is able to get Levin out on one pitch. Devlin, her first at-bat of the day. Did not play in game one. She's up in a big spot here with two on. Ground ball into right center field. A base hit. Prince is going to be waved around. And this game is tied. The throw is up the line. Definitely now Estrada's going for third. The throw is not in time. The Jackets games, but with her unavailable today, Rourke is more than achieved on the mountain. One-two pitch to Devlin, rolled through the hole on the left side, and a base hit for Kelsey Devlin. She rounds the bag at first, and with one away, the Jackets have a base runner. Barrio standing in for the second time this inning, and strike one, throw down to second base. Rangari's got it, and out at second base. Haley Rowe got her stealing, so the inning is over. Nice play by both Haley Rowe and Caitlin Stringari. A oh, 2-2 pitch from Tokoch. Swing and a miss. Struck her out. So Tokoch gets the second out of the Tokoch inning. The strikeout. Nice strikeout there for the right-hander, and there's two away. She entered today's game with a 391 batting average. And that ball chopped up the middle. A base hit for Nikki Tiffany. Nikki and Tiffany stay hot, number four. Second hit of the ball game. And she leads off the single there, shaking... Head hand of Yellow Jacket assistant coach Four Katie Mitchell. SUB. She does her job, and that'll bring Ryland Estrada to the plate. And she grounds that ball into center field base hit. Stringari is going to be waved around. The throw is going to be all the way home. The tag is not in time. Stringari slides. The runner at third, Estrada, will look to score. Two outs here in the first. And the payoff pitch on the way. Swinging a drive into left center field. Rowe crushed it and off the top of the wall. Two runs are going to score as Devlin's being waved around. Throw gets away. Now Rowe is going to head into third base. The slide and she is out at third. Haley but a two-run double for Haley Rowe. And the Jackets take a 5-3 to three lead. What an inning for MSUB. They make a big response here against the Vikings. So we will head to the second. Plenty of action in this one. Jackets lead five to three. 